All right, how's it going guys? Josh Thomas here from thebitblock.com with a video demonstration for the street pass functionality in the Nintendo 3DS. So um, in case you don't already know, street pass is built into every Nintendo 3DS and it involves you taking your system with you everywhere you go. So if you go to run errands, classes, work, kung fu practice, I don't know what you do on a daily basis, but take this bad boy with you because you're going to benefit from doing that in two different ways. The first way is that there's a pedometer built into the Nintendo 3DS, and so it's able to count how many steps you take. For every 100 steps you take, you earn one play coin. You can hold 10 play coins a day, and you can hold a total of 300 play coins in your system at one time. So you would have to start spending them if you miraculously maxed out at 300, but that would be really hard to do. Um, that's an impressive feat to get. Um, so you use these play coins to then unlock exclusive content in Nintendo 3DS games. So for example, Super Monkey Ball 3D allows you to unlock more carts and, and monkeys, and um, it's also used in the Street Pass Mi Plaza which we're going to demonstrate here in a little bit. So you earn play coins from walking around. That's pretty cool. Now, the other way that you'll benefit from taking your system with you everywhere you go is that uh, Street Pass is able to interact with other Nintendo 3DS systems when you walk within about a 100-foot distance of another person who has their system. So, you know, you're not going to get um, personal information from these people. You're not going to learn their full name, their address, or their phone number. But you will see their little me arrive on your system. It will show you uh, the last game that they played, and it will show you some information they filled out about themselves, like do they like dogs or cats, and, you know, silly little game-related information. So it's really fun. Um, you're going to know when you walk past somebody because there's a little light on your hinge of the system. So you can see it here. And when that lights up green, that means that you have uh, somehow interacted with somebody through Street Pass. So to demonstrate this, we have our um, Japanese Nintendo 3DS, and we also have the site's North American 3DS. So you can see they have encountered somebody through Street Pass. Obviously, though, this is just um, the two systems found each other. I don't think we found anybody. All I did was run to get lunch at Subway, and I hurried home. So slim chance that we actually picked up on somebody else through uh, Street Pass. But... Nevertheless, this does confirm that if you go to another country on vacation and you bring your system with you, you might actually pick up people from that country, and then you can take their Mies home as prisoners in your system. I don't know. Um, but it's cool to see there's no region locking on Street Pass. All right, so we've rambled on enough. Let's actually get into this. I'm going to open up the systems. Here we go. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit both of these on here. Let's see if we can squeeze them in. There we go. All right, so um, it's showing us on our main home menu here that we have Street Pass interactions with uh, the Street Pass Mi Plaza. So we click on that, and uh, that seems like it, that's all we've uh, that's all we've exchanged information for. Now, some games obviously have Street Pass functionality, like for example, Nintendo Dogs plus Cats, um, and Street Fighter does as well. So, if I walked past somebody who had also played Nintendo Dogs on their system. I would have gotten some special presents in Nintendo Dogs, and I realized now the 3D is on on the Japanese system. So I'm going to turn that off because it films better. All right, so let's jump in to the Street Pass Me Plaza. We're really, really multitasking now between two systems. This little, by the way, if you want to know why that light just blinked, that's because one of my friends signed on uh, online. So you might be seeing that blink quite a bit. Hey, and look at this! Two Joshies found each other. This is crazy. <laughs> this is actually really confusing. So um, this is what happens when you find somebody else. Let's pretend that this isn't me interacting with me. Um, so this is the English side. Let's focus on this. It says, hey, I'm Joshi from Japan. I'm really not. I'm, I'm in America. We've met four times now. Horf, horf, horf. So horf, horf, horf is the little greeting that I put in. Uh, and now you can actually, once you meet somebody multiple times, you can prepare a personal greeting for them. So I have a personal greeting. Uh, this will send Joshi a personal greeting next time you tag in Street Pass. So now I can actually... Oh, I don't have a stylus hand. Oh, here we go. I can type out my own personal message to Joshi so that if we bump into each other again, he'll see this message. I'm not going to think of anything clever. Let's, let's turn the volume off on one of the systems here. Okay, so next time uh, I bump into Joshi, I'm going to say, yo, yo. And that personal greeting was, you like cheese? I typed that earlier. 
So it shows you what he's recently been using. Josh has been using the Nintendo 3DS Sound. <laughs> and then it shows you some information they filled out. So my dream for the future is to get rich. I don't remember putting that in there. That's the Japanese Joshi. The Pikmin hat is Japanese Joshi. Hatless Joshi is American Joshi, okay? This is really confusing. We might be creating a black hole in the universe from doing this, but all right. So Joshi is now added to my uh, Mi Plaza. There he is. You can see he's holding the little um, 3 sound channel icon. So the more Mi's you collect, you would see a whole big crowd gathering behind you. All right, so let's go through the Japanese information here real quick. <laughs> so there's the you like cheese personal greeting. So it's really cool how it actually, okay, so this Joshi, the American Joshi has been playing Super Monkey Ball 3D. And it's kind of interesting the way on the Japanese system, it actually writes it out in Japanese. Right. Blah, 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 blah. So he answers that. Obviously you can encounter more than one person at a time. Okay, so we've, we've caught up here. Now in Street Pass Me Plaza, this is built-in software that has two different fun games that you can play, both of which involve play coins or meeting up with other players. So. You know what, I think we'll, we'll, we'll do the puzzle on one system, and then we'll do the quest, the, the Find Me game on another. Let's, let's do the puzzle on this one. So we'll go to the puzzle swap. And you're going to have to bear with me, because this is incredibly confusing here. So we've, uh, we've run into Joshi, obviously, from America. And we can see what puzzles Joshi is currently working on. So he's got the Metroid Other M puzzle, and ooh, Joshi's also got some pieces for the Mario puzzle. So the left side is what I have, and the right side is what the player that I've encountered has. So it looks like um, American Joshi has one puzzle piece on the Metroid Other M puzzle that I don't have. So I'm going to get a copy of that. He'll hand it over to me. I'm very happy, and I put it on my wall. So this is a really fun game where you have to collect 15 pieces of each puzzle. There are a bunch of puzzles. They're all Nintendo characters. Uh, you know, that was a Metroid one, and then there was the, um, the Mario one as well. So I'm going to show you what it's like to actually view a completed puzzle. So there we go. It's like a little model, and you can spin it around, and in 3D, these puzzles, or these little models, look really cool. So I'm going to back out of there. I'm really hoping to find the Pikmin one. Now, interestingly enough, I cannot start a new puzzle unless I encounter somebody else that has one that I don't already have. So um, you can also, let's back out. You can use play coins to purchase a puzzle piece. So two play coins will earn me one puzzle piece. Obviously, I want to try to collect them on the Metroid Other M puzzle. <laughs> Come on, that was one I already had. Let's try her again. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a little Pikmin cap, I'll explain it in a second. But uh, you can you, want, you can unlock little accessories or hats for your me to wear in the Street Pass Me Plaza. So we got one one piece we didn't have there. I think we'll get one more and then we'll call it quits for now because you basically get the idea. Okay, so let's back off that. But I think we can now um, ignore this system and we'll move on to the American system. So let's let's mute that and come over to here. Now, uh, that was the puzzle swap. It's really cool. You know, you collect pieces of a puzzle and you can find more uh, with play coins or through meeting up with other people who might have a different puzzle. Now, the other game you can play in this is the Find Me game, which is kind of a role-playing, turn-based battle game. Essentially, the plot here is that your me is a king or a queen, and they've been captured by evil ghosts and enemies and put in a cage. And you have to run around and find other Mies through Street Pass uh, to help you save the king. So here we got some dialogue here. Looks like my Mi is falling asleep. So I've collected one hero. And there's our overworld map. Each one of those squares is a different dungeon in battle. So we got two, glows, two ghosts blocking the path. A hero named Joshi from Japan has appeared. Four Street Pass tags. So the more you tag up with the same person, they level up. Ooh, Joshi is now level four. So you got two forms of attack. We can use the sword or we can use magic. So this guy's an orange magic, which means that he invigorates heroes. Let's go with the sword though. So we'll attack that ghost. Whoa, mama! 12 damage, this Joshi is a pimp. We'll attack this next ghost. Oh, don't mess with Japanese Joshi with a Pikmin hat on. All right. So we've defeated them. Now when you complete a battle, you get a accessory. So we got some cat, we got a cat hat, little cat ears that I can put on my me. 
right? I'm gonna keep that Pikmin hood on though. That's too amazing. So we'll move on to the next dungeon. Now, like I said, if you found more Mii's, you would be battling with just, you know, you wouldn't be battling with just one Mii. You'd have a whole line. Oh, this ghost looks a little bit crazier. He's got a really funky hairstyle. Let's try magic on him. New heroes that enter, enter will receive a moral boost. Well, that was kind of um, worthless to do because there was no B behind me. So you can see it actually is designed to be quite a cool little RPG experience. It's not incredibly in-depth. There's no like walking around in overworld. It, it is focused purely on battle, but it's really awesome, especially for free and the fact that this stuff is built into the system. So it gives me some stats. I defeated those two ghosts and I did no damage to that one. So if I did do damage to him, when I picked back up on that fight, he would he would still have that health bar, so you don't have to redo the whole battle again. Um, I'm going to do the hire a hero really quickly, just to show you this. For two play coins, you can hire a hero, which is actually... <laughs> okay, that one was a, a little dog. I've never actually seen a dog, so this is new to me as well. Usually they're cats. No, these are all dogs. What gives? This is craziness. So they are levels. That was a level one wanderer. Two more coins, we'll hire another one. <laughs> it's too adorable. He's level two. What? He's tripping. He's gonna be a lot of help. He can't even walk off screen. Well, that puppy's skinnier. Alright. Let's do this. Now nah, we'll save those two. Okay, so now we're going in with, uh, with more warriors. Hey, what does this say here? Press and hold R to make things go by faster. I wonder what that means. So yeah, if you press and hold R, your battle will go quicker. If you, you know, don't want to watch the animations, oh, well, I'll do it just to show you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we're on uh, dungeon three here. Yeah, this blue ghost does not stand a chance. Let's do it. Let's use the sword. Oh, 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 oh. That pooch meant business. Let's use magic. What is his magic? He's black magic. It uh, covers area in darkness. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> the wanderer hero is tired. Oh, well, that wasn't good. I'm missing attacks because of that. But maybe the ghost will miss attacks, too. <laughs> he can't see my hero. Take him out, puppy. Oh, he's got like no health left. All right, this guy will take him down. Ah. Oh, are you serious? Oh, there we go. You did it, puppy. So I didn't get a treasure chest that time. Not every dungeon will give you something. All right, so we're going to move on. I'm gonna leave, we're gonna leave this screen here. We're gonna jump back over to the Japanese 3DS and I'm going to very quickly show you a few more of the different um, hats and accessories you can put on your Mii. So we've got a Kirby hat. There's the little kitten ears. A lot of question marks here. There's a Mario hat. But you get the idea. There's a lot of different hats to uh, collect. Now I should point out that before you get too excited, these different hats are only wearable in the Street Pass Me Plaza. You can't wear the Kirby hat in Pilot Wings Resort. But never, uh, nevertheless, this is really cool built-in software to your Nintendo 3DS. It's a great way to showcase the Street Pass, and it really does give you a reason to take your 3DS with you everywhere you go so you can collect new people and, uh, and get play coins. So, um, you know, really takes advantage of the fact that it's a handheld system. If you have any more questions about Street Pass or the Street Pass Me Plaza, feel free to stop by this post at thebitblock.com and leave your questions or comments. Until next time, this is Josh. I will see you guys later.